Hello and welcome into this LEX 18 Digital Conversation. I'm Claire Crouch and today I have with me a very special guest, a local star on the rise, singer-songwriter Eliza Sayers. Eliza, welcome. Hi Claire, it's nice to be here. Yeah, so why don't you go ahead and just start off by telling us a little, about, a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what you do, how old you are, that sort of thing. Okay, um, well I'm Eliza Sayers, that's been said. <laughs> um, I'm 16 years old. Uh, I go to Scapa Lafayette High School uh, as a uh, literary arts major. Um, I love to songwrite. Uh, it's one of my passions. I play guitar um, and uh, I pretty much just do music all the time. <laughs> when did you start uh, singing and writing songs and uh, how, yeah, how long have you been doing that? Well, uh, I've been singing ever since I can remember, but I think the moment where I started doing it a little bit more organized was um, around the time when High School Musical came out. Mm -hmm. um, my brother and a, a neighborhood uh, boy, uh, we started a singing group called Kid Dreams, and we did um, High School Musical covers. Um, and ever since then, I just feel like it's been like just part of my life. I remember the first song that I wrote uh, was in kindergarten. I couldn't play any uh, instruments or anything, but uh, there was this girl in my class. It was Kylie, and she was trying to steal my crush away from me. So I wrote a song about how much I disliked Kylie. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, you know, your inspiration has to come from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, you go to school. You took the ACT just yesterday. Yeah. So how are you balancing school and trying to get this music career off the ground? Well, um, it's certainly an, or uh, an ordeal. I feel like um, I'm, I'm just strapped in and just, like, constantly just... Woo! <laughs> like everywhere, like, oh, you're going here, you're playing a gig. Oh, now you're doing your homework. Uh, it's just it's kind of crazy. Sometimes I don't go to sleep till pretty late. But I, I kind of like it. I would rather, you know, jam pack everything than, um, you know, just lay in my bed. <laughs> sure. Well, it's your passion, so yeah. that's what fuels it, I'm sure. Uh -huh. So how would you describe your style and who's your inspiration in terms of your music? Um, well, for sure, my number one inspiration is um, an artist by the name of Regina Spector. Um, my dad actually introduced me to her when I was really, uh, really little. Um, and I just really like how she doesn't put herself in like a cardboard box of uh, like genre. And she tells these like beautiful interweaved stories, um, like not about cliches and stuff like that. So I, I try to, I try to emulate that and I try to, um, tell stories sometimes. Of course, you know, as a 16-year-old, sometimes you got to write about the times where you're just heartbroken. Sure. <laughs> um, but I try to make people want to listen to me. And you write what you know. So yeah, that, that exactly. helps, right? Mm -hmm. uh, very cool. So are you performing a lot? How can people catch you or listen to your music? Uh, do you perform here locally or you just kind of go where the opportunities take you? Um, well, I do perform a lot locally um, simply because, you know, restrictions like I can't like, you know, pick up and leave <laughs> school. <Sure. laughs> um, but uh, you can um, follow me on my Facebook page. Uh, I think, I believe it is just Eliza Sayers. Um, and uh, you can follow me on Instagram, E-N Sayers, S-A-Y-E-R-S or um, on my Twitter, Eliza Sayers SS. Um, and I post um, updates on where I'm performing, um, any, uh, I'm trying to get some like shirts uh, being made. Um, so I, I'm trying to get a website as well. So I mean, I'll keep you all updated. <laughs> Absolutely, and you just recently had a really cool opportunity with the BBC. Yeah, Tell me um, about that. yesterday actually, uh, well I got an email uh, a couple days ago from uh, BBC Radio, and um, there's this little segment called BBC Introducing for kind of um, under the radar artists, and um, they said that they were going to play my track um, in England on uh, BBC Radio. Um, I'm not sure if it was like across the whole nation or anything like that, but um, they uh, they said in their little you know British voices, uh, Eliza Sayers, <laughs> you know, and it was it was really exciting. Um, it's, it's just kind of unbelievable, really. Yeah, to have your song played. Did, have, have you ever experienced anything like that yet? No, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> and from what I remember, I believe another local Kentucky band kind of got discovered that same way. Cage the Elephant was played on that BBC program. Yeah, so, yeah. That's uh, what my mom told me. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows? It yeah. sounds like a good start, at least. Yeah, for sure. Um, we were kind of worried that they thought I was um, British. <laughs> um, so my mom took all my locations off of, <laughs> like, all my pages. 
and I was like, I think, I think you're kind of going overboard here. <laughs> but um, it's really crazy, and I kind of don't believe it. <laughs> and so are you going to play that song for us today? Yes, I am. Awesome. Well, why don't you take it away? Uh, what's the name of the song? Uh, the song is called Pil uh, Pillar of Salt, um, and it's written by me, and I hope you enjoy it. what they heard can they get that song anywhere yeah. um if you like what you hear you can uh, stream it anywhere you can get it on itunes spotify amazon music google play um i believe i'm on soundcloud as well um and i would really appreciate your all support if you uh went over and checked it out awesome it was a great song everybody Thank in the you. studio's got it ringing in their ears now <laughs> so i think you're on to something <laughs> and you said you might have a couple gigs coming up correct yes um i recently just got um some gigs at whole foods at the summit um, on the uh, September 15th and the 22nd. Very neat. And mm -hmm. then anyone else you want to thank or give a shout out yeah. to? <laughs> um, well, first of all, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my parents for um, putting up with my teen angst. <laughs> um, and I'd like to give a shout out to um, LexJam uh, for supporting me since day one. Um, I remember that first open mic, I was like shaking, and I. but it's just been kind of a crazy ride since then. I'd like to give a shout out to... Um, my brothers Jared and Owen for um, always, uh, you know, annoying me, <laughs> and uh, my grandparents as well. 
Well, Eliza, thank you so much for being mm -hmm. here today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we really loved it, and you can say we can say that you got your start here at LEX 18 <laughs> when you become big and famous. So we are glad that we get to be a part of your journey. So again, you can buy that song on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. Mm -hmm. It's available everywhere to download. So definitely do that and support this local rising star. And thank you so much for joining in on this digital conversation. Until next time, I'm Claire Crouch.